one of the challenges and experience ko being an artist here in the Philippines is that masyadong mababa yung tingin ng karamihan sa mga artists. And that's the reason why I chose to work with international clients only. But everything changed when SB19 trusted me to do one of their music video. And this video is about it. This is about how their animated music video hanggang sa uli came to life. It all starts with the story. Halos lahat naman eh, sa kwento talaga nagsimula. All the famous movies and novels have one thing in common. They all have a good story. And yan yung pinaka the best about hanggang sa uli. It has all the elements and themes that make up a good story. One of the group member, Justin, was the one I mostly talked to during the initial meeting and up to the final production. The original story came from him but it was also collective ideas from all the other group members. So collaboration ng ideas kumbaga and that's why the story is very unique and special. All five members of the SP19 group was part of the story and of course the story wouldn't even be possible without the support and management of ShowBT. So the story is about five people living in a different timeline pero kone-konektado yung stories and events nila. The story tackles about different themes like unrequited love, gender, regrets, depression and so on. After finalizing the story, the next step is designing the characters for the animation. The character design helps with making the characters consistent from start to finish. It serves as a guide for the whole music video. And since the style of the music video is animation, kailangan ng character design for each of the five members ng SB19. And as you may guess, we made the animated characters as close as possible to the real members ng SB19. We tried na maging kamukha nila yung design na parang anime version nila kumbaga. And hindi lang yung main characters yung may design, but also the secondary characters as well, yung mga love interest nila sa story. I use Procreate to draw the characters, but any drawing software will do, like Photoshop or Clip Studio. After designing the characters, I also created a prop sheet para may guide during the production. There are so many props that were part of the story, that's why it's important to have it designed para consistent at walang makalimutan at the end. Next, I created the set design for each location for the characters. It's important na consistent din yung mga location, that's why I built it in 3D using a program called SketchUp. This helps me to change the camera angle and the position depending on the scene without drawing the whole location from scratch. Then I can use that 3D shot and use it as a base for coloring. The coffee shop where Stel is working, the bedroom of Sejun, the alleyway where Ken had a fight, and yung classmate ni Justin were all modeled in 3D. This greatly speed up the process of painting every location and mas consistent siya compared kung ginawa siya from scratch. The original storyboard was created by Justin, one of the members of SB19. And when he gave it to me, it was already animated or what we call animatic. Sobrang laking tulong ng animatic na ginawa ni Justin since it helps speed up the process. So, using the original animatic, I made revisions along the way para mas consistent yung every scenes. The animatic is very important since ito yung ginagamit para makonvey yung timing ng story with the music. And ito rin yung sinusundan sa final stage ng animation and editing. Of course, there were revisions along the way and naka 7 revisions kami before we end up with the final animatic. And that's quite normal in production kasi yun na yung actual scenes na makikita sa final video. So, kailangan talaga ma-double or ma-triple check na maigi. I used Procreate for the rough animation and edited the video sequence using Premiere Pro. After the animatic, I created the color keys. Ginagamit yung color keys para mas ma-visualize ang maigi yung look and feel ng backgrounds and ng overall scenes. It's important to plan out the lighting of the scene, the layout, and the color language for each characters. So for example, Stella's location is a coffee shop. So his color assignment includes a warm and cozy colors. Ganun din for Sejun, since he is lonely and sad and yung room niya is almost close and gloomy, assigning purple and bluish colors to him would effectively represent his current feelings. And the same concept was applied to Justin, to Josh, and to Ken. Kaya sobrang importante talaga na ma-plan out yung color keys before doing any final stage process. This is the stage where I made a very rough animation for the characters and other scenes na kailangan i-animate. This step is very important para ma-check kung sakto lang ba yung timing from the animatic to the actual running time ng song. 
Ito rin yung stage na matatest ko kung okay ba yung galaw ng characters to sa background scene. After finalizing the rough animation, it's time to paint the background layout. And ito yung pinakapaborito ang gawin sa lahat since I mostly do background art talaga. This is one of the most tedious part of the production pero sobrang na-enjoy ko talaga siya. Using the storyboard and the 3D models as reference, I painted all the background art using Procreate and sometimes I also use Photoshop. Overall, the total background that I did for the music video was 105 drawings. Next is finalizing the animation. I use an animation software called Harmony by Toon Boom to polish the line work from the rough animation and to add colors. Aside from the background art, this stage took a lot of time to finish. Yung fight scene ni Ken kay Zoro, it took me 5 days to complete. And since sobrang limited ng time frame, there are some animation scene that has limited frames and sequence para ma-meet yung final deadline. But of course, quality should be the number one priority despite having a very tight schedule. The last and final step was adding the effects to the final composition. I used After Effects to simulate the depth of field into some of the scenes to imitate the look of a real camera. I also added lens flare using a plugin called Optical Flares and particles for subtle dust and for the spray can. Then in export ko yung mga scenes as image sequence and in import ko siya sa Premiere Pro to do the final editing of the video and the music. So yeah, that's it. That is how the music video came to life. Sobrang daming pinagdaanan, sobrang daming challenges along the way na hindi ko inisip na mangyayari pero sa huli natapos din naman. And nakakataba ng puso that SB19 and their fans love how it turned out. I would have never completed this project without the help and support ng SB19. They've been very supportive from start to finish. So thank you guys and of course to ShowBT for choosing me to do this project. I'm really honored to be part of this project. This is one of my biggest project yet and first locally kaya sobrang memorable talaga nito sa akin. So thank you everyone, please continue to support SB19 because they are all amazing people. And syempre, please support din my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.